Good day, fellow investors. I often mention how I'm very bullish on copper. There is a supply gap forming, so copper prices should go up and that should benefit copper miners. So it would be fitting that I also offer you copper investment ideas, copper miners that I think are low risk, high potential reward investments. And today I'll discuss Hot Bay Minerals. The other copper investment that I like very much and I'm invested in is Nevson Resources. So you can check the video above in the link. Let's start with a quick overview of the copper environment and then we'll switch to Hot Bay Minerals. This is a very, very important chart because it shows the demand for metals in relation to the cycle in economic development. China is now entering the mid-cycle and there will be more demand for copper, zinc, lead, nickel, aluminium and so. India is still in the early cycle, so more iron ore, coal, but it's switching due to technological developments also to copper building infrastructure, so we can see also future high demand coming from India that will boost global demand for copper. If the United States start to repair their infrastructure, as some have promised, we will see again increased demand for copper. Another positive for copper is the impact of electric vehicles. For example, one electric vehicle consumes three to four times more copper than a normal car. On top of it, you have to make your charging point at home, the superchargers, all those things consume and demand more copper. So if we switch to an electric economy, copper will explode. And also nickel that we have mentioned in these other videos. That was the long term. In the short term, copper is entering into supply deficit. And you can see here from the International Copper Study Group how copper has been in a deficit in 2016, will be in 2017 and will also be in 2018. This is because the average industry ore grade is declining. So all the low hanging fruit in copper has been mined and now companies have to dig deeper, higher costs in order to produce more copper. And that simply limits the available supply at lower copper prices. What is expected is that at this moment with current prices simply a supply gap will form soon and a big one because the possible projects are simply not feasible at this copper price is below $3. I personally expect a balanced copper price above 3.5 in the next 10 years and perhaps even going to 4. The World Bank copper price forecast, they are very conservative in their forecasts, no electrical vehicles impact in their forecast, but however the copper price is really expected to significantly grow over the next decade. Apart from copper, Hot Bay Minerals is also a zinc producer, so you can check my zinc video as 21% of revenue, Hot Bay's revenue comes from zinc. Let's start with Hot Bay Minerals, straight at both of the New York Stock Exchange and of the Toronto Stock Exchange, so you can buy it on both stock exchanges. It has a long life, low cost asset base, now long life, just two projects are long life. The recently commissioned Constancia mine in Peru is 19 years expected life. Lalor mine has 10 years and two mines are about to be closed down soon. Nevertheless, we'll calculate each present value for each mine. And the biggest part of Hot Bay is the Rosemont project that has also 19 years of life expected. But it's not yet developed. They need still one permit for water regulation. So. We'll see about that. Let's start immediately with the Constancia mine in Peru. It's Hot Bay's flagship mine, 19 years of life. And in addition, they have done some additional mine, mining at the Pampa Cancha deposit close by. So they have increased production for the next five years. Here you can see the expected production, copper production, more than 100,000 tons per year, molybdenum, gold, silver, so a very diversified mine. And the most important thing is the five-year averages, cash cost and sustaining all-in costs are below $1 per pound for cash costs and $1.27 for all sustaining mining costs. Later, that will be higher. So what I have done, I have analyzed future cash flows for each of the Hot Bay mines and projects, deducted the costs and calculated uh, the present values of those operations. At the end I'll 
compare the present values with the depth and get to a fair value of hot bay. I think that's the only way to analyze a miner is to really analyze it segment per segment, present values, total of present values, and then you get to an end result. So that's what I'll do here in this video. Let's start immediately. Constantia, copper production, as I said, 100 tons, molybdenum, gold, silver ounces. Gold and the silver is sold already with a streaming deal with silver written, so I will also arrange for that. 50% of the gold is sold at 400 dollars per ounce and 100% of the silver is sold at 5.99 dollars per ounce to silver weapon. Nevertheless, also standing cash cost 1.27 per pound. So, hot base profit from Constantia should be 1.63 dollars per pound in the next three years. Thus, around 380 million per year pre-tax, 250 million after tax with their tax rate. So, the current number of shares outstanding is 236 million, so you can expect cash flows of 1.06 from Constantia in the next five years. From then onwards, expected production will decline, and I expect cash flows of around 0.5 dollars per share for the remaining 14 years. The present value at a 10% discount rate, I know the discount rate is high, but that's what I like to use for miners. And that's high for a de-risk already producing commissioned mine as Constantia is, comes for me to 7.12 dollars per share. So that's for Constantia. Let's go to the Lalor mine. Current zinc prices, I made this calculation at zinc prices of 1.12, didn't increase it for practical reasons, so giving again a margin of safety as zinc prices are much higher. So I have summed up all these cash flows expected here discounted at a 10% discount rate and the value came at 461 million or 1.95 per share. 777 mine and REIT expected to be closed in the next few years. Nevertheless, their cash cost is negative. There is some potential to exploration in the area, but let's keep our analysis conservative. And according to the technical report, for the two mines, we can expect the present value for the two mines to be 0.3 per share and 0.1 per share. So we add 0.4 dollars per share for the present value of those mines at a 10% discount rate. In total, Constantia 7.12, Lalor 2 dollars with higher zinc prices plus 0.4, we are at 9.6. As this has been done with lower commodity prices, we can easily add a present value of 10 for those projects. Now, let's go to the future of Hotbase, the Rosemont project, expected to produce 10% of US copper supply with a life mine of 19 years. So that's an excellent project. Production costs are expected to be very low at 1.29 per pound. And calculating from the technical report, present value at a 10% discount rate with copper prices at 3 dollars per pound, which I expect them to be in the next 20 years, is 500 million or 2 dollars per share. However, this project is very, very sensible to copper prices. And if copper prices reach 3.5 on average in the next 20 years, the present value is already 1 billion. If they reach 4 dollars per share, the present value is already immediately 1.5 billion or 6 dollars per share. So when you take into account that Rosemont is really the leverage on copper prices and that's what makes Hot Bay interesting. $10 we had there plus let's say it will be $4 per share the value of such a project that's already at $14. The only issue with the Rosemont project is they received the US Forest Service permit but they need still need a section 404 water permit from the US Army Corps of Engineers. When will they receive it? I don't know, but a negative water permit would, would delay development of the mine. But probably only delay or increase some costs because they have to arrange how to do it. So we'll see about that. That's definitely a risk. Now we have calculated the net present values of all the projects from the cash flows. So already deducted the costs, the investments. And now we still have to deduct the current debt and then we'll get to the fair value of HUDBET. Hatbay has a very, very large depth load, 1.3 billion, but we can see the maturities are pretty far from now. Six years, 
for the 400 million note and eight years from the 600 million note. So expecting copper prices to increase, there will be no problem for Hot Bay to service that. Especially as they have high cash flows now, their operating cash flow is around $400 million or $2 per share currently, so they can easily service the debt payments. Just a quick look at my model. These are the cash flows per year in order to pay out all the debts in 2023 and 2025. And you can see how from 2019, Hot has a safety cushion of 500 million on its balance sheet in cash and that there grows in the future. So no worries about Hot Bay going bankrupt, especially with the cash they have. A look at the stock price. Hot Base has been really cheap, especially I did this analysis two months ago, so when it really was cheap, so it was a good call. Now it's a little bit higher, but nevertheless, if we add everything up, we get to a stock price of around 14 minus the debt per share, which is five bucks. So I get a fair value for Hot Bay of $9 per share, which is still above the stock price of seven. The risk for Hot Bay, a recession, copper prices get hammered in a recession and the stock price would also suffer. So that's always a risk when investing in industrial commodities like copper. The second risk is the water permit for their Rosemont project. If they don't get it, stock price will get hammered. Any delay in those kind of projects really is something investors don't like. So those are the two main risks for the company. The debt isn't that much of a risk because of the high cash flows and the long-term maturity of the debt. So a very interesting high exposure to copper investment. My target for the company is 10 would be a fair value now as 14 is the net present value of the projects. We deduct the debt, we get to a present value, net present value of nine for the company, exposure to higher pro copper prices. So I think 10 is fair now. If copper prices hit $3.5 per pound, $4 per pound, then really I see Hot Bay at 20.25. So it's a pretty high potential investment with a margin of safety coming for the low cost and excellent projects in the pipeline. If you have any other copper investment ideas, please leave them below. Happy to take a look at them. If you have any interesting insights of Hot Bay, also leave them. Also, please share them with us in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, as there will be plenty interesting analysis like this on this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.